Good morning. This is HSNWFL, and uh, the temp temperature back here is what is that? 64 degrees, and it's been raining a lot and kind of cloudy. But today's a sunny day finally, and you know all the vines are kind of don't have any leaves on it yet, but there's some vines that do, and this is what I'm doing in the back. Cut down an oak tree. There's all the little limbs from it. And here's my compost frying in the sun in my cardboard box. But uh, got a couple. Of, this had all vines, all vines. I'm burning the vines in my fire pit. Way in the back here. But here's some more vines I'm going to burn, and they were all like that mass load there. But a lot have been burned. But there are some, what is this? It's called uh, Confederate, nope, it's that yellow. Back here on top of all these vines, see this is what this whole area was, all vines. And now there's flowers back here but I'm cutting back all the vines gradually so the trees cannot get pulled over because that's what that all looks like and here's the top of the tree I mean these vines go 50 feet high they're muscadine and smilax uh, and I cut them one year I let them dry out and then I burn them the next or I burn them a little bit wet but they're getting taken care of because it's nothing but vines. Like here, here's a southern magnolia. Still has leaves on it, but the pile of vines like killed it. But I'm doing a compost pile back here and we'll see how that goes. But I'm just piling everything in there and then I'm going to turn this pile and ash, you know, biochar. I'm trying a little bit of that, even though I'm not soaking the biochar, but we're going to try to make some soil here out of all this uh, garbage. But uh, yeah, that's the vine situation. But uh, I've got this area cleared out so I could even get back here. But uh, i got to pull down a whole bunch more, but it's easier to pull them down and then burn them. And I got this lid over the fire pit to keep everything dry for my first starting the fire. And this is actually a fire bowl that fits on top of my fire pit. Here we go. There we go. That's for my first burn of off. Uh, that's a dried out Smilax vine. But I got this fire pit and I got that other bowl that fits exactly on top of there to keep everything dry so you can start a fire. Okay, and it's Northwest Florida, so it rains all the time. So you don't want to get your initial stuff wet. Although all these vines are dead and drying but uh, they'll pull over trees and kill all the oak trees and <laughs> you know so they're they're getting removed gradually but they're some kind of muscadine or water vine and smilax which is a root bulb vine which is greenbrier and uh, they're getting removed and burnt turned into biochar 